be make better units, although all I really need are flayed ones. By the way, this is what the Awakened Monolith looks like. It's not, uh, it's just Awakened, which isn't much of an upgrade. Then it's, uh, Engaged, and I believe after that is when it's restored, and it can fly around and shoot stuff like you saw in the last campaign. Still haven't lost a squad. I'm gonna get this one to come over here. I want to take over this slag depot. I get a lot more power then. Too easy. Oh, I can see around these corpses, apparently. Oh, yeah, because I can revive them. Okay. There we go. Thermal plasma generator. I believe that's what it is? Yes. Okay. It's basically a very powerful plasma generator, but you build on top of Slag Depot. You can't pick where to build it. Ah, uh, my squad morale is broken. Wah. Oh, I can make tomb spiders. That's fun. Almost took out this uh, stronghold though, so I really don't need it. There we go, wiped them out of the game. Got them all in there. And you. I'm gonna have to get you to teleport around. Have Mole teleport in. There we go. Took out one player and I take out the other. Both chaos. Now look at the power go up. I got this, uh, generator here. Oh, it looks like they finished the one in the base, too. Okay, make another one. Make two. I doubt they'll finish either of those before I take out this. Everyone just focus on that. I told them to all just ignore whatever is hitting them and just finish off the stronghold. It's almost dead. There it goes. Again, too easy. War gear awarded for defense. Mantle of Doom. This increases morale and health. Not much of a health increase. I don't know if the morale increase is worth it. Health regeneration, that's nice. But I think I'm gonna go weapons now. I have tons of health. Let's get better weapons. Let's get the skinning blade. It's not that much more powerful. Once I get the reaping blade, it'll be worth it. So the Chaos are almost destroyed. I might be able to wipe them out now. They're probably gonna attack next turn. So I should reinforce. I have a lot of requisition anyways. Hmm, Immortals maybe? I'm thinking... 
Tomb Spider. They can attack one of these two places. I'll reinforce each one with a Tomb Spider. And I'll go attack this orc place to get some destroyers before I go after the chaos. I'm not going to bother getting those Necron Warriors back. They were pretty powerful, but so slow. All I need really are my flayed ones. The AI isn't the smartest in this game. Oh, I remember this stage. This is actually a really fun one. But I bet you I can take them out fast. Okay, the basic stuff, summoning core relief for the flayed ones. Warp up the hill, and I believe their place will be right here. Yep, there's a boy's hut. There's some Gretchens. Here's the settlement. Let's take out these banners first, cripple them early on. And I have Flayed 1 production going. Here are my Catacomb Flayed 1s, extra powerful. Speed things up. Oh, they're attacking over here. Might actually need to defend. Yeah, these flayed ones actually might need some help. But I'm going after their settlement. I'll take it out before they can ever take out me. Why is it playing Imperial Guard music? <laughs> this game is weird sometimes. Get some extra flayed ones here. They take a little time to warp in, as you can see. Because they have to crawl out of the ground. Okay, I got this obelisk. I'm gonna fortify it. Now, since obelisks are so cheap, basically, um, they don't get upgraded with a turret until their final upgrade. Their first upgrade just gives it a one-shot per, like, minute move. Settlement's almost down. Okay, these guys should get some backup now. They've been waiting long enough. Hell, the Necron Lord's actually pretty hurt. I'll just... Oh no, we took it out. Okay. I was gonna say it's gonna warp to the other side where he can't reach me. Too easy! Now destroyers, these are worth hiring to the honor guard, but I need more requisition. So I've got an okay amount of land. I have five provinces. I've got kind of the, it looks like the standard amount right now. Most people have four or five. Except for the chaos, who didn't even try attacking this turn. They should have attacked the north part. 
Now I'm gonna move back to the south one. I wonder if the orcs are gonna attack that old place I was just at. I could get a successful defense. Oh, look, oh no, they're gonna attack me again. He's still attacking me directly, and I fortified, so I've got a Tomb Spider to start with. So I've got my Flayed Ones and my Tomb Spider. And of course, my Necron Lord, because he was dumb enough to attack where the Necron Lord was. Okay, you're Hotkey 3, you're Hotkey 2, you go in there, you go over here. What do I even need to do at this point? Both of them start making flayed ones. It's Tomb Spider. Just tell it to move out already. There's not even much base building I can do now, I guess just more generators. I'm just gonna stock up flayed ones till I see where the enemy is. Here we go. You don't wanna do that. And now you're surrounded by flayed ones. Way to go. Oh, he is so doomed. Dead already. Yeah, both of you, actually. Just move out and kill. Are there still two people in this one? Yeah, there's two again. I'm guessing they're in the same spots. Almost got my cap. Got a bunch of flayed ones here. These people aren't that smart. Let's let's face it. I'll just have scarabs making building whatever. Might as well upgrade my main guy. Oh, I can't wait till I get the resurrection orb. Slam my staff on the ground, all of my necrons come back to life. And I can go over my uh, population cap by using it. Got their leader back. Or a Chaos Lord. No, that's not even their leader back, that's just a Chaos Lord. Fear the taint? I don't know why, but that just sounds hilarious. Okay, both of you guys, back down here. All of you. More plasma generators. As if I don't have enough, you know. Actually, you, go over here. I want to take all the slag depots, too. Might as well just start uh, reinforcing all these squads since I have so many. Nothing else to spend my energy on, really. It's only 30 to reinforce these guys. Really should be more expensive for such a powerful unit. Oh god, this team is cheap. I kind of picked them just to show them off to you guys because it's one of the it's one of the new teams, you know, fancy. But I forgot the, just how cheap they are, which the answer is extremely. <laughs> Mass resurrection. That's one of my abilities. I can go over my unit cap by doing that. You know what? Strength and power grid research. 
Might as well engage this monolith soon. Oh, you guys. Uh, yeah, thermoplasma generator, go. Oh, I'm liking this skinning blade. I do way more damage. Come on, guys, just focus on the stronghold. You too, focus on the stronghold. Once I take that down, all their other buildings just disappear. Ah, oh, man. Attack and move, they just get distracted by every little thing. Man, look how fast my power is going up. This is insane. Might as well awaken the other monolith. And, enga and uh, engage this one. Need a little more power. There. They're both upgrading. It's 180 power just to make another generator now. I have so many. Okay, make one. I have all these scarabs working on it because they take so long to build. I can strengthen the the uh, power grid again if I want to. Haven't lost a single flight one over here. Over here I probably lost some. Lost one. <laughs> wow. Yeah, these guys are almost all dead. Yep. Now I'm gonna warp all these guys back here. You guys, get over here. Get them to all go in the building, so I can warp them out. <laughs> Got an engaged monolith. Gonna take one of these guys off to make an energy core so I can awaken monoliths. Engage that one, too. Oops. Missed my hotkey, clicked the wrong button. It's embarrassing. Oh, so many. Oh man, I'm just taking out vehicles now, it's so strong. Okay, send all the guys on it. All of them. I want every single guy rallying over here. This is pathetic. Oh, way too easy. I can still make more generators. Still. I have two engaged monoliths here, and I'm gonna awake them yet. There's not really a point. I'm g oh my god, look how fast I'm getting resources. I don't even need this crap. There's like nothing I can do to make my economy more powerful than this. I guess just get more, more generators. I could be pumping out tomb spiders and crap. I could be pumping out lord destroyers at a steady rate. Actually, you, come over here. Might as well make another monolith. Okay, third monolith on the way. I'll probably destroy their headquarters before I finish. Yep. There it goes. The Chaos must just be shitting themselves. <laughs> because they must- oh my god. I'm annihilating them. Every single time someone attacks one of places, I get another defense. So that's more war gear for me. I think it's third defense or fifth defense or something, I'll get another war gear. Isn't there a list I can check around here? War gear. No, I think you can only check the list when you get one. That's annoying. I have a lot of total kills on this guy. Okay, I'm going to just straight up attack their base now. Now I'm gonna save, 
because I am a little worried. I've attacked them with the orcs before. No, the Imperial Guard before. I've been this this campaign as the orcs and the Imperial Guard, but someone when when I played El, uh, orcs, someone else took it the chaos. So Necrons, save. Continue. All they have in their honor guard are a cultist squad. Oh yeah. Now some parts of this will be kind of hard because I march so slowly and some things like it'll kill everything in a certain area if you're close to it at the time. But just by warping flayed one squads I can bypass that and by having fast units like Lord Destroyers. Now I'm gonna take my destroyer with me. It's kind of like a vehicle for them. 